Hello and welcome to the Pioneer Tin Shop here at Fort Steele Heritage Town. I just got an order for some cookie cutters, right in time for the holidays. Let's show you how to make them. A five pointed star cookie cutter is a relatively easy shape to make out of sheet metal, as each point has two little pieces, giving us 10 whole points on our little template here. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make one of these little templates so you can constantly repeat the process if you wanna make more than one cookie cutter, or if you just wanna make one, we can show you how to do it from scratch. Here I have a piece of tin that is cut one inch wide and 17 inches long. And I have another piece that is one inch wide and an inch and five eighths long. This is gonna be my little measuring piece for each of these little segments on the template. Starting out, I'm going to take a scratching awl or any other kind of marking tool, and I'm gonna line it up on my piece of tin, right square on one end, and mark a little line and then move it up past that line and mark again until I work my way all the way down the tin. Well, that one's a bit off, but oh well. Now, we have our piece of tin with a bunch of fine little markings on it with 10 little segments, which is perfect for our five-pointed star. Let me show you the next step. Now, I'm going to take a long ruler or a measuring device of some kind, and I'm going to set it up over my piece of tin with about a quarter inch of material exposed over the top of my tin. It could be a little bit larger, like 5 16 somewhere in the middle, wherever you feel comfortable. This is going to be these little lumps on top of our segments that get folded over in the final cookie cutter so you're not pressing on sharp edges. Lining all this up to where I'm happy with it. I'm going to press down on my ruler, take my marking tool, and make a score line all the way down the length of the tin. Now we have our 10 segments and a long piece along the top which will then be folded over. Alrighty, next up we are going to be using some tin snips. As you can assume by their name, they're used for cutting tin. We are going to be using them to cut these little notches in the top of our little cookie cutter template, right along where our little lines are, except for one near the end that gets cut and then cut straight. That will be the shortest end, and for us, it is this end right here. So taking my tin snips, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut directly down the middle of the little markings of our segments, but not going past that top line that we scored all the way across, giving us a little mark like this. Once we've had that for our little marker, I'm going to take my tin snips at approximately a 45 degree angle to that little snip, cutting just down to the line. Just like that. And I'll repeat that process all the way down. Now that I've gotten all these little pieces cut out, we're on this last little one right here. We don't have a full inch and five eighths segment. This is our last connecting segment. So I'm going to make another straight cut down, a straight cut across, coming from the edge to that line, and another little 45 to that just to make them all nice. And as you can see, we have a very rough template matching the ones we have prior. That is how you make your template for cookie cutting or your actual cookie cutter. Let's move on to the next step. I've just taken a hammer to my little piece of tin here and hammered down all these little pieces we cut with our tin snips. The tin snips can give tin a little bit of a deformity while you're cutting as one piece is bending down, one piece is bending up and the hammer just corrects that all. The edges are still quite sharp though. Let's show you how to deal with that right now for our cookie cutters. Come with me. 
This right here is a break. This allows us to put pieces of tin inside and with a simple swing of the arm, bend them at 90 degrees, a little bit more or a little bit less. We are going to be bending ours along this top score we did all the way across. This will round this edge and make it not as sharp when we're pressing down with our hands to make cookies while leaving this edge sharp enough to cut through cookie dough. For this, I'm going to lift up the brake's opening arm so I can place in my piece of tin. I'm gonna line it up as best I can along that line, check and see enough materials on the outside. And with a simple flick of the wrist, I'm going to bend this as far as it goes comes out just like that. Let's head back to the workbench now. Now that we have taken our piece of tin to the break and bent over this tiny piece right here, we are going to finish that bend with a hammer just by tapping down gently. Alrighty, now that we have bent these all over, we can get to the fun part, making our cookie cutter. Using either a pair of pliers such as these or a pair of folding pliers such as these, we're going to bend each little segment of our cookie cutter template into this rough shape. I can show an example with each using the folding pliers. I'm going to bend in on my lines so I can have all the lines and all the folds on the inside of the cookie cutter to give it this nice, clean, crisp edge all the way around. Taking my folding pliers and lining it up with the line, I'm simply going to bend to a 90 degree angle and bend a little bit more with my fingers to get almost that similar star shape. Again, using the other pliers this time, taking into account which way I need to bend as this was a mountain bend, the next one will be a valley bend. I'm going to take my pliers and line them up crossways and bend outwards. We can see now by holding it up to our little star that those pieces almost have the same bends. And we're going to continue that all the way around. Keep note, for the end piece of our template, which is this last segment here, the last long segment, not the last short segment, I didn't fold it all the way shut with my hammer. I left it a little bit open, and I'll show you what that's for in a second. Now that I've got all the pieces folded into a rough star shape, I've left this last one a little bit longer. This is our last segment of our template that was this small cut right here. What we're going to do with this one is give it a small bend outwards with either our pliers or our folding pliers, and it is going to tuck into this little opening I left on this fold of the template. This will allow us to cinch it down at the end and make sure our cookie cutter does not come apart at all by placing this little tab inside this piece. Yep. We'll be able to cinch that down and have it in one solid cookie cutter shape. So I'm simply going to take some pliers, any kind works, and with that piece firmly pressed in, cinch it down, making it nice and tight. We have a very rough star shape here now, so now I'm just gonna form it with my fingers until it's a little bit more even and a little bit nicer of a shape to use for cookies. There we have it, the star-shaped cookie cutter for all your holiday baking needs. Thank you for joining me today in the Pioneer Tin Shop here at Fort Steele, and now you know how to make a star-shaped cookie cutter. Now I gotta go drop off this order, but perhaps you might see it in our next video.